Thomas R. Grammons, Lieutenant Supply Corps, USM. Okay, my first involvement in the Navy would be as an NROTC contract student at Marquette my freshman year. My sophomore through senior years, I was a regular student. So, basically, <laughs> because I had, as a contract, I had to pay my own tuition my freshman year, and getting a scholarship took that burden off of my shoulders. So I was able then to uh, enjoy the fullness of the university, so to speak. Okay, it was Marquette University. Uh, we had a fairly large unit because we had the engineering school had one half of it and the rest of the university had the other half of it. So it was the basic courses that you had. Freshman year was orientation and naval history. Sophomore year was gunnery. Junior year was engineering and senior year was operations and navigation and personnel administration, basically. It was 24 hours of class, you know, in addition to your regular college curriculum. So it was intense, I mean, particularly for me because I was a business administration student and the naval program is geared more toward, I think, engineering people. That is not my strong suit. So actually I enjoyed history in the freshman year and probably to some degree navigation and operations and in the, the senior year, which was mainly your leadership courses. And the one thing which four of us did at Marquette University, which was historic, was we applied for the Supply Corps. That was unheard of at that time. And three of us were successful in becoming Supply Corps officers. So and I think the proof was in the pudding because one became the partner in charge in the Milwaukee office of Pete Marwick Mitchell, and the second one was the Chief Financial Officer of AT&T Information Systems, and for myself, I had a long career in banking and public accounting, so uh, I think we were in the right spot to, to make that request, but it was, I, you know, surprising to say the least to the administration that somebody would do that. There had only been one person that had ever done that before at Marquette, so, and now they've done away with that, I understand. They don't let you do that anymore, so uh, everybody goes line officer now. I would dare say I had a patriotic bone or two in my body, and I was ready to, to serve, you know, essentially. You know, I, was, I had signed up for it, and I mean to do, plan to do it. So, 